folks so in the first part we learned how to create this list view screen for the chart app or chart module so if you have missed the first part you can just uh, click on the link in the description for the first part you can go through it as well so in this part we are going to learn how we can create uh, the detailed chart module from where the user charts from the uh, from any person okay i mean it's just the uh, second step of the chart screen from where uh, if the user clicks on uh, any of the chart threads okay so let's start creating it so i'm just cl closing all the body layers from here i'm going to just so what happens is if you see any of the chart apps you will realize that in the header this chat app name is replaced by the name of the person you're chatting with okay so let's left align it first of all just make it a little bit space here over here then i would probably decrease the size of it you can use bold with it no problem in that and with this there is always a image of that person so let's use a little bit of a decreased version of the image as well okay so let's just take all these three layers not probably this one just this layer with this over here and like this also there is always a back button in the header to go to the list view okay so for that what i'm going to use is i'm going to create the back button so for that i'm using the pen tool I just created a stroke okay and uh, I'll turn its fill to nil I'm going to use its stroke of white color I'm going to increase its width and use a hard line and to increase its width a little bit more maybe five and I'm going to use curved edges and curved corners okay so this looks a nice back button okay so now we can just move these layers a little bit leftwards if you see like this maybe 54 would be fine also the search icon depends on the app's availability of search inside the chat thread so we'll probably be leaving it right now over here we do not have any problem with this search icon over here all right so now what happens is we do not want this new chat icon over here we do not want this i'll probably delete this i'm going to save this as the chat you guys can get in touch by leaving your email ids in the comment section so that i can probably share the raw files and the final completed versions of this chat module if you guys need this for factors okay so this is the header it's looking fine now let's start working on the messages over here okay so for that what i'm going to do is there are n number of ways how we can uh, go with the messages so since we have used uh, images on the header we'll probably not be using images over here we'll just use the sms uh, content uh, so let's start i'm going to use rounded rectangle tool and to click over here and to make a bubble like this all right and here what we can do is i'm just going to turn off the stroke i'm going to use fill of white color 
and instead of having a white background I'm going to use a slightly gray background like this this gives a very nice depth to the chat thread and uh, on this rectangle I'm going to use a little bit of a drop shadow a very little opacity okay so just to give a feel that it's having a depth in the bottom also from this properties option of the rectangle tool you will find these four boxes from where you can probably adjust the size of the curves of this bubble so I'm going to break this link and I'm going to decrease the size of this first one to specify that the comment is from is starting from over here okay so this gives a very nice feel and you can see it set it to like maybe 15 and now let's write the content a to whatsapp okay i'm using black color okay and along with this we can I'm just using control J and then I have clicked V to select the move tool and for this I'm going to use the for timing I'm going to write 630 okay and I'm going to decrease its size quite well like 34 maybe put it in the center of the box and I'm going to decrease the color opacity so I'm going to use a lighter gray for this time like this probably right so this can be one chart thread and if the same guy has sent two messages then it would look like this okay, on here. How are you? Okay, so this is how it might be looking. And uh, if we duplicate the first thread, move it downwards. And what I'm going to do is I'm just going to mirror this bubble by pressing Ctrl T and right clicking and clicking flip horizontally. So this will give a feel that the thread has been written by the second entity. Okay, like this. Okay. Fine. Something like this problem. Okay. To differentiate these bubbles, what we can do is we can either use different colors of bubbles or we can just probably change the color of one bubble so in this design what is happening is the messages that have come are in the highlighted color because they are more uh, a priority to the viewer because he might probably not be requiring to read his messages but the messages that he has, re he has received are more important uh, for him to reply on them accordingly okay so here we see that we have this thing over here all right and, uh, and that's it and uh, there, sh there has to be a chart writing box over here okay so for that what we are going to do we are going to use a rectangle box okay probably of the height 140 and to move it a little bit upwards and it should be having a white color like this maybe 160 is good all right and from properties of the shape layer you can just link it decrease its 
like this right and uh, then there, there has to be a smiley icon so that if the app supports smileys then the user can select some smileys from there okay so i generally use icon finder for downloading my icons okay so this is a perfect icon for me right now i'm just downloading it uh, 512 pixels png image and uh, i'm going to use it in my photoshop Dragging and dropping images directly onto the canvas will create them into a shape layer. And the advantage of the shape layer is that if you increase or decrease the size of the image any number of times, the quality of the image is maintained to the maximum resolution. Okay, so that way you can use this image accordingly and still be able to work on it. Okay, so let's just pick color the icon. So for that, what I'm going to use is I'm going to use color overlay, and here I'm going to choose maybe this blue color. Okay, then I'm going to write type message here. Just to inform the user that you have to write the message from over here and you can probably use it in a curved manner only like this. This looks nice and then there can be any number of icons present over here as well like uh, for a file attachment or something like that so probably you can use attachment because generally these uh, chat apps now have these icons attachment icons and everything like that so it's all up to what you wish to use for your app so uh, what is the requirement of the client so it all depends on that the design is just to cater the needs of the client and the users so if the requirement is of attachments then you can use this attachment icon as well over here okay like this okay so this can be the basic idea of how and the chat's detail view can be designed all right and also one more thing that the bubble sizes should be dependent on how much there is how much content is present inside it okay so what you can do is to beautify the app this helps in creating a very nice looking effect is that like this so this gives the feel that this gives a more of a lively feel in the app also what can be done is you can take a darker tone of this as well like this and you can create a more bubbly kind of uh, design so the colors can be chosen as per the client's needs and uh, this is the most advantageous thing uh, from the shape layers so don't be worried about the colors but what is more important is the information that you're sharing should be correct and to the point for the user so i hope you have learned something from these two parts of the video of this chat module and uh, do not forget to subscribe
and do share the video with your friends and do try it out and please mention your queries and feedback in the comment section below thank you